Hey curl friends and welcome back. So today I'm showing you guys one of the best curly synthetic wigs under 50 bucks which is the Free Trust Equal Wand Curl Collection Bubble Wand Wig. So today I'm just going to show you guys an unboxing as well as a try on haul how I customized this wig to my liking. Now this wig is constructed with a deep L shaped parting so it's pretty much like a right side parting. The wig features four combs as well as some lace along the hairline. So that's the first thing that I'm going to go ahead and customize. I grabbed some tweezers just to tweeze out the parting. Now like I said there's only about a half an inch to an inch of parting space so there wasn't much to customize. And I'm just grabbing an angled brush as well as some concealer to line the inside of the cap as well as the outside. The concealer will allow for a more seamless blend. It'll match your skin tone just a tad bit better than the actual lace color that it comes with. So I'm showing you guys here, I'm just putting the concealer on the outside of the cap as well to make sure that I get that parting nice and defined. And as soon as I finish with that, I'll just go back in and line the actual hairline for this wig. So if I were to pull my hair backward, it wouldn't look like a harsh line. It would actually have a flesh kind of tone with the concealer. Concealer. Now placing concealer on a synthetic wig is very very similar to dyeing or bleaching a lace closure on a full lace wig. Now going in with my scissors I'm just going to trim off the excess lace. Be careful not to cut off any of the baby hairs or loose strands. So our customization is pretty much complete. You can take off the tags pop the wig back on and make sure that everything is looking really nice for you to pop this wig back onto your head. And I just went back in to make sure that I had enough concealer on the actual parting space. Now I braided my hair in a braid pattern that features a side parting so that the lace closure can lay really really flat. Now here comes the fun part. So I'm grabbing some edge control or some eco styler gel. I'm personally using some eco styler crystal white gel to lay down my edges and I'm getting my little handy dandy toothbrush <laughs> to lay down those edges before I put this wig on so that I can avoid any kind of mess. And I'm just grabbing the wig. As you guys can see, it's ready to be put on. The hair is so, so bouncy and realistic. It reminds me of like a Bantu knot. So I'm just grabbing the hair and I'm just going to put it on my head, put the parting right where my natural hair is parted, and I'm just going to stick the ends of my cornrows underneath the cap. So your hair might frizz up in the process of putting the cap on, so I just went back in with some Eco Styler Gel again to lay down my edges, and then I'll just go ahead and begin fluffing the hair. Straight out of the pack, this is what the hair looks like, pretty much like a Bantu knot. It looks like if you were to do a Bantu knot and take them down in the morning prior to fluffing it, this is exactly what it looks like straight out of the pack. So I'm just going to make it look a little bit more realistic. I want some more volume, some more frizz, so that it looks like my natural hair in a Bantu knot out. And I'm just pretty much separating the hair where it naturally is going to separate. I don't want to disturb the curl pattern at all. And then I just twirl the ends of the curls so that I don't get too much frizz. Go back in with some concealer to make sure that everything's blending really, really well. And I'm just going to run my hands through the roots of the wig to make it just a little bit more fluffier and big. Now for me personally when it comes to synthetic curly wigs, I like to let it swell over time and just get frizzy and bigger over time. So this is pretty much how I'm going to leave it. I separated all the curls. I'm not going to go too much more further, but here are my final results. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you guys and I'll see you guys in the next video.